In this training module, you will be taken through the operation of a BR185.2 electric locomotive. During this brief introduction, you will cover the critical driving controls and freight operations. When you are ready, climb aboard to get started. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be. For this introduction, you will be driving the locomotive a short distance and coupling to a short freight train. Firstly, you will. Set the headlights to let others around you know this train is operational. There are three types of brakes that are used on this locomotive. The direct brake, train brake and electric brake. The direct brake applies air brakes on just the locomotive and not the wagons. This is used usually within yards for shunting operations. Until you get more familiar with the locomotive, you can ignore this control. The train brake applies air brakes on the locomotive and the wagons together. Under most circumstances, you will slow the train using this control. The electric brake uses the traction motors to slow the train down without using the air brakes. You can use this to provide additional braking, such as when you need to manage your speed going down a steep gradient. The locomotive is now ready to go. Release the train brake and use the throttle to apply some power to get moving. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of braking force using the train brake. This train is part of the Bombardier Tracks family, a modular platform of diesel and electric locomotives that come in both passenger and freight variations. More than 1800 locomotives of this family have been sold throughout Europe and are now in use in 17 different countries. The BR185.2, part of the Tracks 2 family, is known for the noticeable scale it plays when accelerating from 0 to 16 km per hour. This locomotive can produce 5600 kilowatts, that's 7500 horsepower, and has a maximum operational speed of 140 km per hour.
The freight wagons are behind you. Change direction with the reverser, then change the junction indicated, either by walking over to it or using the map. The junction is correctly aligned, and you can now couple up to the freight. Come to a stop once your locomotive gently touches the wagons. As you reverse, you may find it helpful to use the external camera view to help see behind you. You can couple and uncouple from either an external camera or on foot. Let's connect the formation using the external camera. Now couple the locomotive to the freight. Nice work! Change direction with the reverser and move the train forward into the indicated siding. It may take a couple of minutes for the brakes on the entire train to release.
You can couple and uncouple from either an external camera or on foot. Uncouple from the wagons on foot this time. That's it for this training module.